Good evening, friends. Hope you all are doing good towards the preparation of uh, JE mains in advance and uh, also for your boards exam. So in continuation with our uh, video series, uh, we are going to discuss exercise three of a pair of straight lines today. So just I am sharing my screen and okay. Yes. So yes, we were discussing pair of straight lines and uh, today we are going to discuss this exercise three. So let's check the first question. It is saying if coordinate axes are the angle bisectors of the pair of lines AX square plus 2HXY plus PY square equal to zero, then following conditions are given. We have to uh, answer which, which is true. So basically, if you see for this uh, given second degree equation, AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square equal to zero. Now, what is the uh, equation of the angle bisector for this? The equation of angle bisectors uh, for the above pair of lines, we used to uh, give it by this x square minus y square upon a minus b equal to x, y upon h, right? Now, the question is saying our coordinate axis are the angle bisector, means our x axis, right? x axis and uh, y axis are the angle bisectors, okay? For this, uh, pair of straight lines. So basically x, y, uh, x axis and y axis, this we used to uh, represent it by y equal to zero and x equal to zero. And combinedly, we used to denote it as x, y equal to zero. So this is the combined equation of our coordinate axis. Now, in this, we have to take, uh, we have to see when this x, y is coming out to be zero, okay? So uh, if you put our h equal to zero, if we put our h equal to zero and see the symbolic representation of this above equation, okay? If we put uh, our h equal to zero and analyze this uh, symbolic representation of the above equation, what, what do we get? This thing will be multiplied into zero. So that will give us x, y equal to zero. This is what we need, right? This is what we need. x, y equal to zero, uh, are the coordinate axis and these coordinate axis are the angle bisectors for this. So for this condition, we must have our h equal to zero, right? So uh, after putting h equal to zero in this uh, in this equation, we are getting x y equal to zero. I Means symbolic representation we are uh, putting here. So yes, this option B is correct. That is h equal to zero. So I hope everyone is clear on this. Now moving to the next one, please uh, check this question. If the line y equal to mx is one of the bisectors of the lines x square plus four xy minus y equal to minus y square equal to zero, uh, then the value of m. Okay, so uh, combined equation of a pair of straight lines is given here that is uh, let me write the equation first so this is x square plus 4xy minus y square is equal to zero right and what we have to find we have to find the um, this will be basically angle bisector okay this will be angle bisector it is saying bisector only so no so the given line y equal to mx is one of the bisectors of the lines. So first, let's write the equation of bisectors for this uh, pair of a straight line. So equation of bisectors is given by this equation x square minus y square upon a minus b. What is a? a is the coefficient of x square. Here it is 1 minus b. What is b? Coefficient of y square. In this case, it is minus 1. So x square minus y square upon a minus b is equal to x y upon h. What is the value of h here? 2 h is equal to 4. So our h will be equal to 2, right? So from here, what do we get? x square minus y square uh, is equal to this 2 
and this two okay let it uh, let me first try it so basically this uh, two and this two will get cancelled out so our equation of bisectors comes out to be this x square minus x y x square uh, minus x y minus y square is equal to zero okay am i doing any mistake so h will be two here it will be a minus b yeah it seems to be correct only so let's check x square minus x y minus y square equal to zero so uh, this is the equation of bisectors okay for this uh, pair of lines now what we can do uh, from here if you see uh, we can make a quadratic no we can make a quadratic from here so if we divide it by mm, we can make quadratic also or we can simply put this y equal to mx in this equation because this is one of the bisectors no so i will put y equal to mx in this equation so what we will get we will get this x square minus x into y will be what mx and minus m square x square is equal to zero so from here we get x square if i take x square common then it will be one minus m okay one minus m minus m square is equal to zero and uh, if we take uh, m so basically we get this quadratic in m m square uh, plus m minus one equal to zero okay so from here we can find the value of our m so what will be the value of m m will be minus b means minus one plus minus under root b square uh, b square means one minus four a is one c is minus one upon two a so two so value of m is uh, minus one right plus minus what is this uh, five right 4 plus 1 5 upon 2. So, yes, uh, the value, two values of m will be there. The first value will be your root 5 minus 1 upon 2. Okay. And the second value of m will be uh, minus uh, root 5 minus 1 upon 2. Okay. So, I think this is multiple choice question. So, root 5 minus 1 upon 2, this is uh, in option A and uh, root 5 minus 1 root 5 minus 1 upon 2 okay if you take minus common here what do we get uh, root 5 plus 1 upon 2 so yes uh, root 5 plus 1 upon 2 so c is also correct so option a and c both are correct for this particular question okay so i hope everyone is clear on this now moving to the next one Question number three. So, question is saying if one of the lines of my square plus one minus uh, m square xy minus mx square equal to zero is a bisector of the angle between the lines xy equal to zero. See here, xy equal to zero means this equation, what does it represent? xy equal to zero means x axis and y axis, right? x axis and y axis so this x y equal to 0 this is the combined equation combined equation of our uh, coordinate axis okay so and uh, this equation is given second degree equation m y square plus 1 minus m square x y and minus m x square is equal to 0 so one of the bisectors right one of the bisector of this uh, pair of straight lines is a bisector of the angle between the lines x y equal to zero. Okay, so basically uh, y equal to x will be bisector, right? This is our x axis. This is our y axis. So this will be the one of the bisector, right? One of the bisector for this uh, coordinate axis. The equation of this line we can give it as uh, y equal to x uh, having the slope of one means this angle will be how much 45 degree and slope of this will be one so we will use this uh, information in this question okay so uh, 
if one of the lines of this, okay, one of the lines of this is a bisector, okay? So this is basically a pair of straight lines passing through origin, okay? Since because uh, uh, this is a, a homogeneous second degree equation, right? Everyone ag agrees. So this will represent two lines and we can uh, use this information. The slope of the two lines, the slope of these two lines will be equal to minus 2h upon a and the product of these two lines will be what? The product of these two lines representing by uh, represented by these two lines, the product of the slopes of those two lines will be equal to a upon b. I think you, you all are aware of this a, b and h. So uh, a is the constant of x square, b is the constant uh, coefficient, not constant. a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of y square. And uh, this 2h is what? 2h is the coefficient of x, y. So basically, this will be minus 2h, no? So minus 2h means this complete thing will be 2h. So minus of 1 minus m square and uh, upon a coefficient of x square is what? Minus m. So this minus minus will get cancelled out. It will be 1 minus m square upon m, right? And m1 into m2 is equal to a upon b. Now, what is a? a means coefficient of x square, that is m, minus m, sorry. And what is the coefficient of y square? It's m. So this is coming out to be minus 1, okay? So what can we do here? Uh, if you see, uh, m1 into m2 is coming out to be minus 1. And one more information is given here that one of the lines is a bisector of the angle between the lines. So one of the slope will be 1. One of the slope will be 1, right? So we can say our m2 will be how much? m2 will be minus 1. And m1 will be what? Our m1 will be 1. This is given in the question. Okay, it's given in the question. So from here, we get the value of m2 as minus 1. Now I will utilize this uh, equation 1. I will utilize this equation 1. So from equation 1, what we can say, m1 plus m2 will be how much? 1 minus 1 means that will the sum of uh, the slopes will be 0 only. And that will be equal to 1 minus m1, uh, 1 minus m square by m. So from here, we get what? m square is equal to 1 or m will be equal to plus minus. So this is what we are getting the value of m. Now the question is asking to find cos inverse m. Cos inverse m. Okay. So it will be cos inverse of 1 and uh, the second one cos inverse and cos inverse of what? Minus. Now when does this cos theta gives us one value? It's on the 0 degree, right? So the value of this will be 0 degree. And when does a uh, cos function gives minus 1 value? It's at pi. Cos pi is equal to minus 1. No? Cos pi is equal to minus 1. If you see the graph of uh, cos theta, it is like this, right? So this value is 0. This is pi by 2. And this is pi. At pi, the cos function gives minus 1. And at 0, it's 1. So this is what, uh, this is a uh, cos inverse of 1 will be 0 and cos inverse of minus 1 will be 5. So this also seems to be multiple correct question. Okay, so this option A is correct. Pi is in option C. So both A and C will be correct. Pi by 2, no. Pi by, at pi by 2, it will be 0 and uh, 3 pi by 2. At uh, 3 pi by 2, also it will be 0. Cos theta uh, gives zero value at uh, odd multiples of pi by two, right? So B and D will be incorrect. So correct option for this will be A and option A and C. Okay. So yes, let's take the fourth question. What it is saying, the bisectors of the angles between the lines given by this equation where C is greater than zero are respectively parallel and perpendicular to the line and four options are given. So bisectors of the angles. No? So first, let's don't apply much brain on this. 
what we can do, we can just write the equation of the bisectors for this given pair of equation, given pair of straight line. So the equation for this is AX plus BY square is equal to C times BX minus AY ka square, okay, where C is greater than zero. So now we can uh, open the square and expand it. So it will be a square x square plus b square y square plus uh, 2ab xy, right? 2ab xy and that will be equal to what? c times uh, b square x square plus a square y square then minus 2ab xy. Is it okay? Yes. So what we can do further. Okay, our target should be to represent it in the standard form. Okay, so this is what I'm targeting. So let's make it similar to our standard form. So this will be a square minus cb square, right? This will be the coefficient of x square. Then what will be the coefficient of y square? It will be b square from this side and from here what we get c times a square so c into a square c into a square yes and what will be the coefficient of our xy so coefficient of xy will be our 2ab from this side okay 2ab from this side and 2ab 2abc from this side so 2ab plus 2abc, 2abc, uh, is it okay? 2ab plus 2abc into xy equal to 0. Yes. So we have uh, changed this equation into our standard form. Now what I will do, I will write the uh, equation of bisectors. Okay. So bisectors. I will, I am going to write the equation of bisectors for this. So it will be x square minus y square upon a minus b or I can represent it with capital a minus b is equal to xy upon h. Is it okay? Now I will substitute the value of a and b. So x square minus y square upon what is a coefficient of x square. So it is a square minus c b square and minus coefficient of y square. So here it will be minus b square plus c a square. C a square. Is it okay? That will be equal to x i upon h. What is h? So this complete thing is, if you see, this complete thing 2 h is equals to 2 times. Uh, okay, we can take here 2 a b common group. So 2ab, if we take common, what we are left with 1 plus c. So the value of h is what? So value of h is coming out to be this. ab, okay, ab into 1 plus c. Check it uh, whether I have done any mistake or what. So the coefficient of xy is basically 2h. So from here, we got the value of this h as a b into a plus c. Okay. What else we can do? Whether we can simplify this? Uh, yeah, it seems to. So in numerate, in denominator, if you see the here, it is a square minus b square. a square minus b square. And if you take common, c common from these two uh, terms, what we were left with? a square minus b square. Okay. Yes, a square minus b square and that will be equal to x y upon a b into 1 plus c. Okay. If you take a square minus b square common from these two terms, we will have 1 plus c. So I am writing here only. So it will be 1 plus c. Now, if you see this uh, c is greater than 0, no? so obviously this 1 plus c will be greater than 0. So I'm just uh, cutting this. So finally, we get the equation of bisector as this. x square minus y square upon uh, 
a square minus b square okay is equal to x y upon a b right now what can we do we have to find the bisectors okay this is these are the bisectors and uh, the bisectors of the angle between the lines are respectively parallel and perpendicular to the line so this line is parallel and perpendicular to which line we have to identify that so this is not a single line basically this is the uh, equation of bisectors so this is combined equation of two lines so let me see whether we can simplify it more so a b x square then minus of a square minus b square x y and what minus a b y square equal to zero so basically these two lines are perpendicular because x square coefficient of x square is equal to uh, minus of coefficient of y square and obviously the uh, equation of bisectors will be at 90 degrees means bisectors will be at uh, are perpendicular to each other only so now what we can do uh, should we find the slope for this like m1 plus m2 for this if you see anyhow these are representing two lines no so m1 plus m2 for this will be what uh, minus 2h upon minus 2h upon b and minus 2 what is h here h here is uh, minus of a square minus b square upon 2 and whole by b b is what minus of a b so this minus minus gets cancelled out this 2 2 gets cancelled out and we are left with this thing a square minus b square means m1 plus m2 we are getting a square minus b square upon minus a b or we can say uh, or we can say what uh, minus b square upon a b will be b by a and uh, minus a upon b so this is the value of sum of uh, the slopes for these two lines and what will be the product m1 into m2 will be obviously minus one because these are perpendicular lines so if you see uh, m1 m2 are here okay and uh, we can find the value of m1 and m2 right we can find the value of m1 and m2 from here so what can i do i can take this r square m1 minus m2 is square that will be equal to this chi square b upon a minus a upon b chi square and what minus of four times of this that will be plus four okay so what we will get we will get uh, this thing b square this is correct only no so a b b square minus okay we have to just simplify it i uh, my target is to find this uh, value of m1 and m2 so that uh, then we can see uh, these lines will be perpendicular and parallel to which given lines <coughs> so uh, four times of m1 m2 minus minus it will be four and uh, m1 plus m2 will be what m1 plus m2 chi square that is a b or we can say b square minus a square ka whole square upon this plus four okay and uh, further what we get okay why i am finding this okay to find the value of m1 and m2 no? so a b square if i take uh, lcm so this will be b square minus a square ka whole square and plus uh, four times of a square b square okay so 
if you see what can we do we are having no space okay, let me just copy this slide so from here what we get this will be b square minus a square ka whole square hai na ye so that will be b ka power 4 uh, let's uh, write it in separate so plus here from here we will get minus of 2 a square b square so a is b square minus a square ka whole square okay let me write in uh, this page m1 minus m2 ka whole square jo aayega that will be uh b square plus a square ka whole square upon ab ka whole square that will be m1 minus m2 will be your this thing uh, b square plus a square upon ab with plus minus sign obviously uh, and what is the value of m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 is our uh, b by a minus a upon b so here also we can write it as we can write it as what b upon b upon a plus a upon a upon b right so this is m1 minus m2 and what is m1 plus m2 b by a minus a by b so b by a minus of a by b and here we are getting b by a plus a by b so if you see if we add this we will have uh, two times m1 will be two times of b by a so m1 will be b by a and once we get the value of m1 as b by a what will be m2 m2 will be minus a by b so the slope of lines are coming out to be this now we have to check through the options so which line is having the slope minus b by a minus a by b here we are having slope minus a by b and b by a so minus b by a so if you check here if you see this option a option a is uh, slope is how much y we can write it as a y will be b x plus mu right b x plus mu so our y will be b by a b by a x plus mu by a so this b by a we are having one of the slope as b by a so yes this one of the line will be parallel to this and uh, the other slope is how much minus a by b minus a by b so minus a by b means yes the product of slopes will be minus 1 so it seems to be correct if you see this option one right so what i am saying i am taking this option a the equation of this is bx minus ay plus mu bx minus ay plus mu equal to 0 so here we can write ay is equal to bx plus mu so the slope for this line is b upon a right b upon a x plus mu upon a this is the complete equation of the line but what i mean to say slope of this line is b upon a and in our equation one of the lines is having this slope b by a so this will be parallel to this line and obviously this will be parallel uh, perpendicular to this so it seems like option a is correct okay now let's uh, see this option b ax plus by plus lambda ax plus by plus lambda equal to 0 so from here what we get uh, by is equal to minus of ax minus lambda so our 
y we can write it as minus a upon b x minus lambda upon b. So here slope is how much? The slope of this line is minus a upon b. Now we are having one slope as minus a by a p. So this line will be parallel to this line. And obviously the other line will be perpendicular to this line. So option B is also correct, right? Now let's see this option C. Option C is AX minus BY. AX minus BY plus mu or plus gamma is equal to zero. Now here BY is how much? AX plus gamma. So Y is A upon B. A upon B, X plus gamma upon B. No, none of the lines having slope A by B. So this will be wrong. Similarly, I think uh, here slope is how much minus B upon A. So no, we don't have any slope of that minus B by A. So option D is also wrong. So I think both these options A and B will be correct. So it seems like this is also a multiple choice question. So yes, this option A and B both will be correct. Option A and B both will be correct. I'm erasing this because we have done uh, on the slide itself. So yes, let's uh, find the other question. Okay, we will, this one was question number four. So let's uh, take this question number five. If the pairs of the straight lines ax square plus 2hxy minus a square equal to 0 and uh, bx square plus 2gxy minus by square equal to 0 be such that each bisects the angles between the other, then prove that hg plus ab equal to 0. So this first, if you see this first pair of uh, equation, sorry, uh, first equation, it is representing a pair of straight lines. So, okay, I'm just writing the equation first, then maybe we talk. So this is ax square plus 2hxy and what minus a square is equal to zero. This is one pair of straight lines and the other pair of straight lines is given by this equation, bx square plus 2gxy minus by square is equal to zero, okay. It is given that if the pair of straight line this and this be such that each bisects the angle between the other. So basically, I will I am going to write the angle bisector of these pair of straight lines. I am going to write the angle bisectors of these pair of straight lines, and it will be equal to this equation only. This is what the question is saying. So let me first write the angle bisector for this. So it will be x square minus y square upon a minus b. So a is a here, b is minus a. So it will be 2a and that will be equal to x, y upon h. Okay. So from here, if you see uh, what we can get, what we are getting h, x square uh, minus 2a, x, y. Okay. h, x square minus 2a, x, y minus h, y square is equal to 0. So this is the angle bisector, angle uh, pair of lines. This is also a pair of lines and these are the angle bisectors of these pair of straight lines. Now, as per question, these two lines are same. These two lines are same, right? So we can uh, compare it uh, coefficient uh, of x square, y square and x, y. So from there, what we can write, we can write this uh, b upon h, coefficient of x square that will be equal to coefficient of x y that is 2g here and what is here coefficient of x y is minus 2a and coefficient of y square here it's minus b and coefficient of y square here is minus of h okay so if you see this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out so h g will be now i am doing this cross multiplication right so h g is equals to minus of a b. Is it okay? Or we can say h g plus a b equal to zero. This is what asked in the question. So hence it's proved. So basically the angle bisector of these pair of straight lines, right? 
as per the formula or as per the derivation what we have learned we have written the angle bisectors for this pair of straight lines now we have compared the same line with this pair of straight lines because in the question it's given that both are same right so from there i have got this uh, condition that hg plus ab equal to zero and this is what we were uh, asked to prove so i think everyone got the uh, got the solution and uh, right so this one was question number five let's uh, see this next question question number six prove that the lines this are equally inclined to the lines this okay so two equations are given here two second degree equations homogeneous second degree equation the first one is 2x square uh, plus 6xy plus y square equal to 0 this is one equation and the second equation is 4x square plus 18xy plus y square is equal to 0 now we have to prove that both these uh, pair of straight lines are equally inclined okay so if we can say if we can say uh, that the angle bisector for this and the angle bisector for this comes out to be same then we can say both these lines are equally inclined so uh, i will write the angle bisector for this line angle bisectors for this pair of lines it will be x square minus y square upon a minus b 2 minus 1 and that will be equal to x y upon h what is h h here is 3 so 3 times x square minus y square that is equal to x y so this is the equation of angle bisector for this pair of straight lines is it okay now i will write the same angle bisectors for these pair of straight lines so it will be x square minus y square upon a minus b that is 4 minus what is b here b here is 1 and that will be equal to x y upon h h is, is how much h here is 9 because 2h is 18 so h will be 9 so here if you see 4 minus 1 is how much it is 3 basically so 3 means 3 means from here we, we are getting the equation of angle bisector says 3 into x square minus y square is equal to x y so see here both the angle bisectors are same we are getting the same angle bisectors for both of these uh, pair of straight lines it itself uh, prove that both these lines are equally inclined means this pair of straight lines are, is equally inclined to this pair of uh, equally inclined to this pair of lines okay so given since the in, equation of angle bisectors are coming out to be same we can say therefore the given two uh, pair of straight lines two pair of straight lines are equally inclined are equally inclined hence proved <clears throat> even two pair of straight lines are equally inclined and hence proved whatever is asked in the question so yes this is the solution for this question now uh, moving ahead we will take question number seven okay so question number seven is saying so that the lines uh, bisecting the angle between the bisectors of the angles between the lines this 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 are given by okay okay first let me <laughs> read the question first so that the lines okay bisecting the angle between uh, the bisectors of the angles between the lines okay so first let me write this equation a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 okay now what we have to write we have to write the angle bisector for this okay angle bisector if we write the angle bisectors for this it will be x square minus y square upon a minus b is equal to x y upon h is it okay and uh, now so that the lines bisecting the angle 
between the bisectors of the angles between the lines means what i have to write the angle bisectors of this equation also so angle bisector for this also so how can we write how can we write uh, we can write it as uh, first we have to modify this equation so we can write it as h x square okay and minus of a minus b x y and uh, minus of h y square is equal to zero okay now i have to write the angle bisector for this so the angle bisector for this line will be let me change the color of the pen the angle bisector for this will be x square minus y square upon uh, h and minus of b means a minus b no so a is h here b is minus h so minus h and that will be equal to x y upon uh, h right so what is h here it is minus of a minus b upon 2 okay so if we can further simplify it we will have x square minus y square and minus sign is there let it be as it is minus into a minus b and that will be equal to this will be 2 2 h no so 2 into 2 4 h x y that will be equal to 4 h x y so this is what given a minus b yes this minus sign we can write it here so i can shift this minus sign to this side and uh, x square minus y square into a minus b and when i will take this thing to the left hand side it will be plus 4 h x x one okay so this is as simple as this so this is what we have to do so yes we have proved it so basically this is the uh this is the homogeneous second degree equation we have written the angle bisector of this line and again we have to write the angle bisector of the angle bisector so this is what the question is saying. So that the lines bisecting the angle between the bisectors of the angle between the lines, right? No. So obviously it will be given by this equation. So we have applied the formula two times, nothing else. So yes, we are done with this question. Let's next, let's see the next one. Question number eight. Prove that the bisectors of the angle between the lines, this and this are always the same. So I think we have to just write the angle bisector equation for uh, the given pair of lines. So it is AX square plus AC, sorry, AC XY plus what? CY square is equal to zero. This is one pair of straight lines. And the next one is three plus one by C X square plus, okay, XY is also plus x y plus 3 plus 1 by a and y square is equal to 0. So let's first write the uh, equation of angle bisector. So I am writing the angle bisector as this. Okay, a, b. We will write the angle bisector of these lines. So it will be x square minus y square upon a minus c because coefficient of x square is a coefficient of b square is c. So that will be equal to x, y upon h. What is h? 2 h is a c. So h will be a c upon 2. So a c upon 2. Okay. So this will be the equation of angle bisector. Now let's uh, try to find the angle bisector for this. So it will be x square minus y square upon a minus b. That is 3 plus 1 by c minus coefficient of y square so minus 3 minus 1 by a and that will be equal to x y upon h what is h here 2 h is 1 so h will be 1 by 2 now this 3 and 3 will get cancelled out we will have x square minus y square and uh, we can take lcm here so ac so this will be a minus c right and that will be equal to 2 times of x, y. Now, what can we write here? We can write x square minus y square upon a minus c. And that will be equal to 2x, y. 
okay this ac will be also so it will come in the numerator so obviously both these lines are same only no both these lines if you compare they are same only so this is what uh, it is asked both these uh, lines are same so hence it is proved yeah the equation will be always same because this uh, x square minus y square this ac you can put it in the denominator of the right hand side no so 2xy upon ac so yes it is as simple as that so this is question number 8 question number 9 so i think only one question is left in this exercise so okay we will finish it off question number 9 is there what is this the lines are presented by x square plus 2 lambda xy plus 2 y square equal to 0 and the lines represented by this are equally inclined then find the value of lambda now see these pair of straight lines are equally inclined right so uh, basically the equation of angle bisectors for both these pair of straight lines should be same this is the concept which we are going to use here so this is the first to x square plus 2 lambda xy uh, plus 2y square equal to 0 so if you see the equation of angle bisector for this it will be x square minus y square upon what 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 1 minus 2 so minus 1 upon is equal to xy upon h what is h here 2h is equals to 2 lambda so h is lambda here so this is for first and for second if you see for second pair of okay no need to write one and two so i am writing here only so 1 plus lambda uh, into x square minus 8 xy plus y square is equal to 0 so angle bisector equation for this pair of straight line will be x square minus y square upon a minus b that is 1 plus lambda minus 1 and that will be equal to xy upon h what is h h will be equal to minus 4 in this case okay so basically these two are same these two lines these two lines should be same means not line these two uh, pair of uh, straight lines are same so we have to just compare it so what we can do x square minus y square upon xy okay that will be equal to minus 1 upon lambda this is our first and here also we will write x square minus y square upon xy and that will be equal to how much this plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled out so basically this will be minus lambda by 4 so on comparing 1 and 2 what we can say on comparing 1 and 2 we can say this thing minus 1 upon lambda is equal to minus lambda upon 4 so minus lambda my sorry minus minus we will get cancelled out we will have lambda square is equal to 4 or you can say the value of lambda will be plus minus 2 so this will be the answer to this question so we got the value of lambda as plus minus 2 so i think this is the last question for this exercise so yes we have uh, completed this uh, third exercise so uh, we will uh, meet once again with the next exercise so till then tata goodbye take care